Hey, Mechatronics students, Andrew Dolan here. And in this video, we're going to be talking about setting up some work holding on the mill. And uh, this time, we're not using the vise, right? So we've got the bed. The vise has been taken off and our table sitting right here, the bed of the mill. And we've got a larger item that needs to do some, some work on. So let's say we've got a nice big block here. And how do we go about securing our work to the mill and making sure that it's in good position. So to help us out with that, a uh, couple of things. Um, first of all, if we're gonna be doing some milling that's gonna go all the way down uh, to the edge of the part, we never wanna run our mill or any cutters into this surface, right? We wanna make sure that this is always free from any marks, uh, never wanna crash the tooling into uh, this, so we want to keep that in pristine condition. So to help us out with that, we're just going to grab some, uh, some other stock material and space this up. And that's going to work really well for some work holding because if we need to go right up to this edge, we can burn, uh, basically cut right into the sacrificial material without any sort of problems. So the, uh, the way we fixture something like this would be to find our work holding tool sets. And uh, this is sitting at the, uh, the mill cart. It's ready to go. Uh, these are really slick for work holding. And it's got a whole bunch. I guess we'll start with the T-nuts. Okay. So this is a T-nut. And you can see by the shape there, if I put it like so, that looks like the letter T and they go right into the T slots of the mill uh, bed. We have uh, some hold down pieces here, and then we have some other uh, basically steps. So we, I'll show you how we can position these into position and hold down our work. So um, first thing we would do is to grab a hold of uh, one of these threaded rods from our set here. So I've got a chunk of threaded rod and we can thread a T-nut right into that. And then we can slide that into the T-slot. From there, we can position our hold down pieces like so. And you know, ideally we'd position these in such a way that uh, we are not interfering with any of the work that needs to be done on our work piece. So that might be a little bit of a challenge to try to get this into a position, or maybe you end up um, positioning it, um, doing your work that you can around it, and then repositioning it later. Uh, so the last part of this would be to install um, some nuts over the top of it and lock it in place. All right, so with a setup like this, we're able to lock our work down. And the trick is going to be then, if we want to make sure that this is square relative to the uh, mill, we may have to use a dial indicator to see how we're doing it and kind of loosen, uh, clamp things up, and uh, retighten them so that uh, we've got a nice straight edge across this dialed in surface. Uh, that's probably going to be your best shot. So again, you want to make sure that your work is securely held in place. Uh, we never want to uh, have a, a poor work holding and then attempt to do some milling. It's, uh, it's going to move on you and then you're going to get pretty frustrated. So a minimum of two work holding points here. And I'm just grabbing some random pieces. Looks like I need it to be a little bit taller. And another nut to hold it in place. So there we go. That looks like a good setup for me. I can lock that guy into position. All right, so um, you can, you know, if it's if the work isn't very sensitive, you can perhaps uh, eyeball it into position or even align it with perhaps one of the edges of the mill over here. That might not be a bad way to go to ensure that uh, it's square. That might, instead of dialing it in, perhaps that's a good way to go where you could use a block here to kind of gauge it. 
push it up against the block in the front and back. And that way we'd at least have some assurance that the work is square and parallel to the X axis. And we can just go ahead and crank down on the T-nuts on our work holding clamps. and that's not going anywhere, right? So now the work is securely fastened to the bed. It's not going anywhere. We can do whatever we need to do. Uh, like I said, the trick is trying to work around these clamps. And you know, sometimes if you have holes drilled in a part, you can actually run the work holding through those holes um, and use that as a clamp. And perhaps that allows you to work around the edges of the part. So um, there we go. And in fact, sometimes that's a good way to do it. You kind of uh, cut something to the overall size, a little bit larger than needed, and you know you've got a couple holes that you need to drill in it. Go ahead, drill those holes, and use those as your work holding fixturing to keep your part locked down and in place. So that's a brief overview of some fixturing without using the without using the milling vise. So uh, I alluded to this in some other content that. Uh, most of the jobs that you're going to be doing, uh, you set up on the milling vise, and that takes care of everything. But there are occasions where the workpiece is too large, uh, doesn't fit in the vise, and those are the situations where we've got to invent some other work holding techniques to hold things in place. So uh, just be creative, and we'll catch you guys next time.